Hello everyone! Come and join me as we offer a hymn of worship to our God to celebrate His goodness, His faithfulness, and His unending provision in our lives. Halina't samahan niyo po ako na awitan siya. Oh, praise you, oh, we worship you. stories of what they think you're like, but I've heard a tender whisper of love in the dead of night, and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're a good, good father.
our good, good Father, our very present help in times of need. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, because you are with us through the ups and downs. You are with us through the joy and through the sorrows. And we will thank you for your unending provision in our lives. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. And tunay nga, we will continue to praise you, to worship you, and magnify your name. All of this we pray in Jesus' name. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Ngayon naman po, samahin niyo po ako manalangin para sa ating COVID concerns at ganun din po sa concerns sa ating uh, sa buong mundo po. Let's pray po. Lord, maraming salamat po muli, Lord, sa oras nito, Lord, na dito po muli kami, Lord, upang mihingi din po kami, Lord, ng yung kapatawaran, Lord, sa lahat po ng aming nagawang kasalanan, Lord, sa isip, sa salita, sa gawa, Lord Jesus, patawarin niyo po kami, Lord. Lord, alam ko po, Lord, na ikaw lang Diyos, Lord, na makapangyarihan, Lord. Ikaw lang Diyos, na, Lord, nakakagawa ng mga imposibleng bagay, Lord. Lord, sa oras na ito, Lord, alam ko po, Lord, na wala po kami magagawa kung wala ka, Lord. Lord, dalain ko kaya, Lord, dalain ko po, Lord, na yung aming pinagtadaanan ngayon, yung covid Uh, pandemya ng COVID, Lord. I pray, Lord, the line po, Lord, na kayo lang mo, po, kayo po, Lord, ang manguna, Lord, sa bawat isa po sa amin. Kayo po, Lord, ang migay ng kalakasan sa bawat isa po sa amin, Lord Jesus, Lord. The line ko din po, Lord, yung mga, especially yung mga naapektuhan ng uh, pandemya ito, Lord, yung mga nawala ng trabaho, Lord. I pray, Lord, bless them, Lord Jesus. Kabayan niyo po sila, Lord. Tulungan niyo po sila, Lord, na Uh, makapag-provide, Lord, ng pang-araw-araw nilang pangangailangan, Lord Jesus. At Lord, ganun din po, Lord, yung mga nawalan din ng trabaho, Lord. I pray, Lord, na ibigay niyo po sila ng wisdom at, Lord, ng, ng kalakasan, Lord, na makabangon po muli sila, Lord, sa kanilang, pa, sa kanilang pagkalugi sa business, Lord, at pagkawala ng kanilang business, Lord Jesus. Lord, alam ko, Lord, na wala imposible sa inyo, Lord Jesus. Lord, dalaan ko din po, Lord, yung mga frontliners, Lord, na sila po yung Lord, uh, patuloy Lord na tumutulong sa mga may sakit Lord na apektuhan ng pandemya ito Lord bigyan niyo po sila Lord ng kalakasan Lord Jesus, bigyan niyo po sila ng Lord, bless niyo po sila Lord at Lord, alam ko Lord na walang imposible sa inyo Lord, Minsan, hirap na po sila sa emosyon uh, sa uh, kanilang sitwasyon, sa kanilang trabaho Lord, bigyan niyo po silang kalakasan emotional, spiritual Lord physical Lord at especially Lord yung immune system nila Lord Pray, Lord, palakasin niyo po, Lord. Kung sa ganun, di rin po sila magkasakit, Lord Jesus. Lord, provide niyo din po ang pangangailangan nila, Lord. Mga pangangailangan ng pamilya po nila, Lord. I pray, Lord, na kayo po ang mabihay sa kanila ng blessing, Lord. Na, Lord, na uh, alam ko, Lord, na kayo lang po, Lord. Ang gagabay din po sa kanila, Lord Jesus, Lord. Dalangin ko din po, Lord, na, Lord, patuloy, Lord, na i-bless niyo din po, Lord, ang mga, ang mga presidente ng bawat bansa, Lord, na patuloy, Lord, na sila ay tumutulong sa kanilang mga kababayan, Lord, na Lord, ligyan niyo po sila ng wisdom, Lord, ay bless niyo po sila, Lord, at Lord, huwag niyo po silang uh, pabayaan din, Lord, na manghina sa kanilang sitwasyon ng bansa nila, Lord, Lord, ay pray, Lord, na i-provide niyo din po, Lord, ang mga financial needs ng uh, mga bawat bansa, Lord, at Lord, ang ekonomiya nila ay nawa, Lord, maging malakas, Lord, na Lord, na kahit ano man pong pandemyang itong pinagdadaanan namin, is Lord, yung ekonomiya is mas lalo pa pong Uh, uh, mag-grow po, mag po yung ekonomiya po nila na hindi po sila mawalan ng mga uh, mahirapan Lord sa sitwasyon Lord Lord dalayan ko din po Lord na bless niyo po sila Lord tulungan niyo po sila Lord sa lahat-lahat ng kanilang gagawin sa mga desisyon po nila Lord Jesus Lord dalayan ko din po Lord na uh, yung mga nahihirapan niya sa sitwasyon yung mga nawalan ng mahal sa buhay Lord I pray Lord na i-comfort niyo po sila Lord Bigyan niyo po sila, Lord, na pakita niyo po yung love niyo po sa kanila, Lord, na, na kahit masakit man sa kanila yung nangyari, but Lord, nandyan ka po, Lord, na nagmamahal po sa kanila, at Lord, nagpoprotekta po sa kanila, Lord Jesus. Lord, dalain ko din po, Lord, ang um, word issues po, Lord, yung pinagdadaanan po ngayon, Lord, ng Lebanon, Lord, ng Uh, bumababa yung ekonomiya, Lord, nila, Lord. I pray, bless nyo po ang bansang Lebanon, Lord. Tulungan nyo po yung mga tao doon, ng mga kapwa namin Pilipino, Lord. Bless nyo po, Lord. Lord, huwag nyo po silang pabayaan, Lord Jesus. Lord, bless nyo din po ang bansang Lebanon at ganun din po yung namumuno sa bansang iyon, Lord. Lord, dalain ko din po ang bansang Pilipinas, Lord, na Lord, continue, Lord, na yun nga po, nahihirapan po sa sitwasyon ng pandemya, Lord. But Lord, bless nyo po at Lord, protektahin nyo po ang bawat tao doon at Lord, 
yun nga po yung nalalapit Lord na halalan Lord na nawa Lord magkaroon ng uh, peace magkaroon ng love at Lord respeto sa isa at isa at ganun din po Lord na magkaroon lang Lord ng uh, malayang uh, pagboto Lord at magkaroon Lord ng open mind yung mga tao Lord kung sino mo po yung il ilulukluk nila Lord sa pagiging presidente at the rest po sa mga official Lord Jesus Lord ganun din po Lord I pray Lord ang bansang Saudi Lord na Lord matigil na po yung pagbubumba Lord kasi Lord marami na po marami may naapektuhan po mga civilian Lord na nasasaktan uh, nasusugatan Lord Jesus Lord I pray din po Lord yung nangyari po nangyari po sa Oman Lord na nawa Lord makabangon na po sila Lord na Lord, especially yung mga nawala ng bahay, nawala ng bagay, uh, mga ari-arian ng Lord, I pray Lord, tulungan niyo po sila Lord na makabangon po muli Lord Jesus. At Lord, ganun din po kung ano man po yung mga nangyayari sa mga sa buong mundo Lord, yung sa earthquake, sa pla, yung nangyaring flood, or, at Lord, yung pag-ulan, pagbaha Lord, I pray in Jesus name, kayo po ang magabay po sa bawat tao, sa bawat ibang bansa Lord sa party ng mundo Lord at Lord, i-bless niyo po ang namuno at Lord, ganun din yung mga tao Lord Lord, maraming salamat po, Lord, kasi alam ko may gagawin ka sa bawat buhay po namin at alam ko, Lord, may plano ka po sa amin, Lord Jesus. Lord, maraming salamat po, Lord. Ikaw lang po ang aming papupurihan sa sambahin, Lord Jesus. Kaya, Lord, binabalik ko po ang papuri sa inyo sa matamis na pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and Amen. Now let's dive in to our word today. Um, you know, we are actually still on the series of our Proverbs, no? And right now in our Proverbs, we can see na nandito na po tayo, no? Congratulations to everyone of us. Uh, today is the last verses from chapter 23 and we are moving to chapter 24. Amen. So today, ayan po yung ating journey ngayon. Ayan. So kahapon, I know that some of you already been uh, diving in, dig digging in again, ano? Alam yung, that's one thing about the book of Proverbs, having nga natin para siyang halo-halo, okay? Halo-halo yung ano natin, halo-halo yung yung ating uh, yung ating pinag-uusapan. You know why? Because nga po dahil sa dahil nga po ito sa <laughs> ang ang Proverbs is talaga pong mix and all mix uh, uh, sayings and observations of life. So that's why I really like uh, Proverbs. It is very very practical. So we talk about friends, we talk about money, we talk about uh, ano, uh, politics, rulership, leadership, a lot of things. No? Uh, and kaya nga sabi ko nga po sa inyo, even our behavior, our, our emotions, ano, our love life, our 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 everything no our intimacy with the no no with with our loved ones and all those things at ganun po ka powerful yung ano yung, yung, yung how god deals which with every one of us kasi yun nga po yung sabi ko no na ang ano god is a ano, concern in our everyday lives so today especially in this season of pandemic we know na talagang nandoon po tayo sa journey na wow parang ano din natin alam kung how or how god will move and work sa atin but we know that in this season god will and God will still help us, you know. Today, we continue in our series in Everyday with God and, and in the book of Proverbs and um, seeing the wisdom of God and, and, and allowing God to to, you know, to move and work sa ating mga daily, you know, daily, you know, daily, uh, daily activities in life. So before I start, let's pray po muna and ask the guidance of God to guide us and lead us in today's word. Let's pray po. God, we thank you, God, for this wonderful morning. God, I pray that every one of us, Lord of oh God, indeed, one more time, God, uh, uh, fill us, Lord, with your word. Fill us with your presence. Fill us, God, with the wisdom uh, that comes from you. Redirect us to your will. Allow us to be sensi sensitive to evil and good. Help us to choose what is good. Help us to walk to what is good. Help us, God, to walk according, God, to your will and purpose. Guide us, Lord, in this word today. I pray that let your word, O oh Father, God, open our eyes help us not to be judgmental but help us lord oh god that as we hear this we will have passion to those who are weak passion lord oh god to those who are walking lord not according to your will but help us lord oh god to pray for them to have mercy and grace upon their lives as you have been so gracious to us lord so god again we thank you lord for this day again bless your word holy spirit speak to us move to us and reach us today give us a new level of faith a new level of, of seeing your grace and seeing your grace to other people as well. So God, help us, Lord, O oh God, 
to be enriched, Lord, in our spirit so that we will be a blessing. Again, we thank you. We commit this time to you. Be glorified. Be lifted up. This is we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So today, let's read the book our word today. So right now, we're going to read um, um, chapter 23. And let's start for, with the last few verses na po, ng chapter 23. So right now, let's read for Who has anguish? Who has sorrow? Who is always fighting? Who is always complaining? Who has unnecessary bruises? Who, who has bloodshot eyes? It is the one who spent long hours in, in travern trying out new drinks. Wow, medyo alam niyo na kung sino itong mga to. Don't gaze at the wine, seeing how it red it is, how it is sparkle in the cup, how smooth it goes down. For in the end, it bites like poisonous snakes it stinks like a bifer you will you will see hallucinations and you will see crazy things and you will stagger like a sailor tossed uh, tossed at the sea cling in a swaying mast and you will say they hit me but i didn't feel it i didn't even know it when they beat me up when 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 will i wake up so i can look for another drink wow okay so um let's uh, now jump and move to our new chapter and that is in chapter 24 verse 1 so don't end the evil people medyo kahawik po ito nung kahapon ano people love of desire their company for their hearts plot violence and their words always steer troubles okay and then verse 3 a house is is built by what's love and becomes strong to good sense true knowledge its rooms are filled with all sorts of precious um, riches and valuables and the wise are mightier than the strong and those with knowledge grow stronger and stronger so don't go to a war without a wise guidance victory depends on having many advisors wow may the lord bless his word so these are actually our last verses so today i'm going to share you four things about the 10 verses that we have read these are actually four things that i think are the main points in in this you know in this um in this uh in this text okay so right now these are this so these are the reality the life's reality uh every day every day we see this first truth about alcohol act addiction okay yun po yung mga unang verses natin actually yung po yung last verses ng um ng ano ng ng ano na ida dive in natin yun ang mabilis and then bad friends okay medyo alam yun na no okay house built by wisdom and the wise okay so yan po yung ating uh, i-discuss today so first punta muna tayo doon sa doon sa sabi nga natin alcohol addictions so sabi nito alcohol ito yung ano eh sabi nga alcohol addictions always uh, on a life of sorrow anguish fighting complete bruises in bloodshed's eyes and ibig po sabihin nito so sabi rito no when when you can see here sabi who has who has anguish who has sorrow and then in the end of the verse in the verse 30 sabi niya it is the one who spent long hours in travern trying out new drinks no so ibig sabihin this is more this is actually yun nga po uh, alcoholism no at, at sabi nga rito no why I use addictive no Ad addictions no um, um I'm not so um I don't know if I'm a liberal one you know but um but i believe that we should not let alcohol take a rule over us no um kasi pag sinabi nyo baka si jesus nag alcohol pero hindi si jesus hindi hindi ni jesus sinaya ang mag take over yung alcoholism okay o naging addictive siya doon Okay, so sa kultura po ng mga, uh, ng mga Hujus, especially the Eastern, and, and up to now, even the, in the Europe, no, talagang part ito ng, ano, ng, uh, tawag dito, ng, ng, ng dining, ano nila, no, uh, pagkain, ano, so, uh, so, ibig sabihin, ang, ang dinideal dito ng book of Proverbs is more on addictions, more on hook already in, in alcoholism, meaning you cannot, you cannot, ano, sleep, you cannot, ano, parang, is, your life is not complete without alcohol on your day. So, ito po yung, ano na, you are on ad an addiction. Kasi sabi natin, you are already on bandage of this. At sabi niya rito, ang mga bandage, 
foundation of alcoholism very very real ano tandaan natin this this proverbs was written thousand years ago ibig sabihin marami nang nakitang buhay na nasira because of this okay so that's why kung weakness mo to i'm telling you is stop mo na siya kasi why because this is a life of sorrow anguish fighting complain and i think lahat naman to diba alam niyo po yan ano kaya nga sabi nila yung kumanta raw this is my way kaya, kaya siya ano kaya kaya nabaril <laughs> okay nabaril at napatay I believe it's not because of the song I believe it is because of the spirit of alcohol kasi nandun na sila doon sa ano na uh, sabi nga natin na hindi na hindi na nila kayang makontrol they are not on their natural sabi nga natin um, uh, normal ano ng kanilang kaisipan and that is because of one yun uh, yun nga po no? uh, controlled na sila ng alcoholism and that is cause yan nga po complaint finding bruises and a lot of things ano kaya nga yung sumunod natin na verse sabi natin ano nga rito it don't gaze like a wine zinger red or sparkle it is smoothly it goes down for it in the end it's like it, in the end it bites like a poisonous snake no? so it poisons a life bakit bakit siya giging poison kasi nga na, yung control yung you will have uncontrolled to, thoughts nagahalusinate ka na and even not only in your to- thoughts in even your words no kaya you will say crazy things alam mo nakakita na po ako ng ganito no um, actually this is also one of the na ano ng aking father no nakita ko siya no na, na talagang nasira yung buhay niya because of alcoholism and actually yun po yung kinamatay niya is just that i praise the lord before he went with the lord no he accepted jesus but so late already no pero sabi ko nga ganun nakita niya and then i realized no uh, sabi niya may inausap siya na very close to me sabi niya malungkot ang kanyang buhay so nakita natin yung yung kaninang verse natin na na sinabi niya ron kanina na ano it is ano is a, a, a life of ano sorrow ano so, kasi totoo po talaga yun ano namin ano, ano eh ma- ma- naging malungkot and i realize how ano how many marriages also was lost because of this uh, because of 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 alcoholism so we have to be very very careful kasi poisonous nga siya and then later on yun nga you will be uncontrolled and you will find yourself na nobody will respect you uh, if you do that so that's why not only poisons our life and we were going to have uncontrolled thoughts and also words kaya they will say you're crazy no and i've seen this to many no pag may nalalasing kung ano-ano mga sinasabi at minsan pag naglalasing ano lahat ginagaya niya hindi niya alam na lasing na lasing na siya and even able to really kill and ano do things ano crazy things ano so it's really really uh sabi nga poison it really poisons us so tandaan nyo this this was written again thousand years ago two thousand years ago ancient writings na to big sabihin hindi mo na kailangan patunayan pa na hindi hindi ako tatablan niyang alcohol hindi totoo yan no if it is already been written meaning it is for us to ano for us to take ano to be a warning ano kasi if we keep on doing this we will be in, in a life of sabi nga sorrow anguish complain magulo yung buhay and sabi nga poison yung life mo no uh, yung mind mo hindi na magiging hindi ka makakaisip ng matino at even in your words no kaya nga maraming mga words ang naano na, na uh, mga words ang nasabi na, na dahil lang dito sa alcoholism at maraming friendship families relationship that has been broken because of this Another thing of that is a loss. Uh, uh, alcoholism also leads you to lose your directions in life. I mean, you will be like a stagger, sabi, like a sailor tossed of at the sea, clinging the swinging mast, and then you will say, "They hit me, but I didn't feel it. Okay, I didn't even know when they they beat me. When I wake up, I look for another drink. Okay, so para ang sabi nga na you will be like a stagger, like a sailor tossed into no. So wala na directions yung buhay mo. Hindi mo na alam kung anong gusto mo ni na alam mo ano yung yung ano yung uh, uh, ayun nga yung ano yung gusto mong i-move forward sa buhay mo and that is because of alcoholism so so don't get hook of it okay I wanna tell you don't get hook of it so these are the three main uh, points no, no, coming from Proverbs 23 to 35 
that alcohol bless them is is a life of sorrow of anguish um it is fight it's it is a this life of fighting complaint bruises and bloodshed no bloodshot eyes no poisons poisons our lives and control thoughts and thoughts and words and it will lost our directions in life so be careful proverbs 23 to 29 verse 29 to 35 is na pagmasa niyo ancient na no uh, this is not because it is bawal kami um, nga lahat ng mga pinagbabawal ng bible tandaan niyo hindi dahil sa bawal kundi talaga nakakasama ito this is not to ano sabi na to tie us no but this is actually to set us free from the mga things that it will enslave us hindi siya pag pinagbabawal yan ng bible sinabi ng bible Yet it will enslave you. It will destroy your life. So, wag mong itwist yung mind mo. Na minsan tinitwist natin, de, ganyan yung Bible na yan, mga ganyan-ganyan. But the truth is actually, the Bible, the Word of God, will set you free. Ang tanong ko sa iyo, ginakita ka ba na nanginginong na maayos ang buhay? In the end, they're lost. They're not happy. Magulo yung puso nila. Outside, they're okay, but inside, they're lost. They're full of sorrow. So God wants you right now to be set free. Maybe this is the word to some of you today. God wants you to be set free of alcoholism. I would like you to, cons- to renounce this, this, you know, this addictions. Ask the Lord, the hand of God, to set you free and make you a new beginning in your life. Amen. So now let's continue. You know? Another another things that we talk about bad friends so again in Proverbs 24 let's jump in congratulations to all of us we are now in 24 1 to 2 1 to 2 Sabi mo rito, no? Don't envy evil people for these for their desire for their for or desire their company, no? For their hearts are flat violence and their words stir up trouble. So bad friends, okay? And, and natin yung mga evil people, I you know, lagging the cocos yan. It will lead us na magkaroon ng violent heart, ibig sabihin uncontrolled temper, nakakaroon ka ng ibang klase ng ano, rebellious attitude, you know? So if you are doing to that, so may mga anak natin na ganun, we have to pray for them no maybe they have been in in a company with wrong friends or evil friends uh, sabi nga why because they make their hearts violent and it will cause troubles okay so maybe this is the word to some of you today to so those of you na meron kayong mga anak o to some of us hindi lang anak pati sabi nga natin alam niyo pati matanda no Mag, mati magulang at may mga edad no pag nasama talaga sa bad company bad groups no lagi ipulit ulit ang proverbs no it corrupts our attitude lagi na banggit na yan no it destroys our ano our our our, our purity lagi ang our righteousness lagi i don't know so that's why ibig sabihin making friends choosing a good friend is also by be, uh, uh, is, is also an act of being wise no so we have to be very wise and to those of us na may mga anak keep praying for our children you know, they will always be in the right and in the right path let them join in the church in the community of church that they will grow that they will their faith will grow in the lord no so this is what god wants to each one of us amen so another verse for another from third bunati today is a house built by wisdom is strong and rich okay why sabi rin ng proverbs 3 verse 3 to 4 is a house built by wisdom and become strong through good ends. Okay? So, makita natin, no? Lalong nagiging strong, actually. Um, nag, lalong nagiging strong, no? So, ibig sabihin, ang tunay na wise ay mga malalakas. Okay? Uh, true knowledge is true are filled with all sorts of precious riches and valuables. Wow! Okay? Okay, ibig sabihin, ano eh, ang isa kasi yung wise, yes, ano eh, ano, naka, ano, nag, nag, na, na, enrich siya, no? Ini-enrich niya yung sarili, sarili niya, no? Pag sinabi nating knowledge, this one can be acquired, no? Ibig sabihin, uh, sabi nga na, ano kaiba ng wisdom at knowledge, ang knowledge can be acquired, pero ang wisdom is actually, ano, by a experience. Ibig sabihin, your experience is actually, will solidify your knowledge. Ibig sabihin, it will embody, will give body muscle nerves to your knowledge kaya 
magiging wise siya kasi kung knowledge lang kulang but like I said those who are walking in the wisdom of God and ano sabi nga natin hindi wisdom na uh, sabi nga natin na walang knowledge kasi hindi pa pwedeng ganun ang may may ang wise is always nagsisik na mag-learn siya ng new things and because of learning new things merong ano yung yung wealth na attract niya remember in our proverbs here he did nakita natin ng mga yung mga mga na increase o nag grow no in their knowledge and in in their new skills meron talaga ano may wealth na pumapasok okay so that's why there is ano you not only you will become strong in in your ano in in your who you are if you have wisdom if the house is built with wisdom and also you will become great but like i said it is this one is ano yun, one thing it is more of what well, sinabi ito yung house you know big sabihin it is a family you know a family that seek the wisdom of god a family that's founded by by wisdom is strong you no know? so big sabihin I believe that God wants each one of us and each families today you know, to be strong, you know, and to be strong and not only be strong, to, you know, to really be in one and in growing, in learning new things. Because, uh, because nga, lalo na sa season na to, you know, we uh, want to be honest that in this season na to, talagang you know, challenging. We need the wisdom of God and the knowledge to learn new things. To, you know, para mag-go through yung mga business nyo, you need to learn tech, technology, you, learn, you need to learn Facebook, you need to learn a lot of things you know by the way it is because of the sale that I learned all these things you know and it is because of the pandemic I've learned all these tech tech things and, and I choose to learn that's why I was able to serve and I was able to be a blessing to all of you who is here but I made a choice kasi nga po sabi ko nga sa inyo technically wala pong nagpapasweldo sa akin dito nobody no, hindi hindi wala pa doon sa, sa ano sa meat na you can you can provide for me and even for my family you know actually my family is provided by my husband you know so that's why I think my husband he al- he allow me to to you know, to do this and be a blessing to all of you is here no kasi kung tutuusin I should be the one helping him no and he gave me this opportunity no and I really appreciate that you know he he released me in, in doing this kasi kung tutuusin hindi niyo hindi pa po ako na po provide kaya to those of you please I'm not saying because I'm asking for everyone bless the ministry no um, bless the kingdom of God you know so um, like I said God God wants each one of us, you know. If you really want to, to really grow, you know, one is first, you nga po, learn. Second, ano nga po, sabi ko nga sa inyo, no, uh, 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 gusto mong, ano, gusto mong maging, maging, ano, maging, ano, uh, huwag ka matatakot to learn and try new things and build your house with that. Meaning, build your house with, with, ano, with a learning spirit. We're trying things that that is of course dapat based din sa interest nyo kasi kailangan interest mo rin to kasi para po may enjoy nyo like me I enjoy this this is my interest and part na lang po yun that na, maraming na ano marami pong marami na lang pong na enrich by the way I would like to thank those who are b- giving blessing to the ministry because all the things that I have today ito po mga gadgets natin at marami pong mga app and all our subscriptions it is because of your giving so God bless you you are my partners in sharing the gospel all the souls and all the people who have been blessed by here because of your giving so i know when somebody goes to heaven thank you somebody will say to you thank you for your giving because of this i was able to do this and i was also able to 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 reach out because of your giving so it's a big one and those who are rich those who are wise are strong and also experiencing the blessing of god so let that be part of our of our of our of our life even especially in our families okay so this might be the, the message of the lord to some of you today no so wag natin ipamper yung mga anak natin ang buong family natin ano 
Um, we should not be afraid of, especially in this season. No? Kailangan po talaga natin. Sabi nga natin, in this season, meet the needs. Yun daw po yung business na best. Yung talaga nami-meet yung needs, nami-meet yung kailangan. Ang tanong, yung ginagawa mo ba ngayon is kailangan. Kasi pag kailangan yan, it, it, definitely it will leads you. No, no. It, it, it is, ano, it is, um, it will lead you to to be a blessing. At the same time, sabi nga doon, no, it will make you strong. The family will be strong, and at the same time, I believe that there is a blessing that will come in your life and in your family. So, in our last verse today, uh, five verse five and six, the wise, yeah. So wrap up the po natin. The wise are mightier than the strong, increasing knowledge. Parehas pa rin po, no? Medyo dikit po, no? And victorious, okay? Because they seek advice and many advices. So, so let's read po ito. Sabi po rito, the wise are mightier than the strong. And those with knowledge grow stronger and stronger. Wow! Those with knowledge, ha? Okay, pa nyo, Go stronger and stronger. And so don't go to war without wise guidance. Victory depends on many advisors. Wow! Wow, amen. So, makita natin, no? Uh, you can see here, again, the sinabi na naman dito na alam niya talaga learning, learning, ano, uh, learning spirit is uh, malaking, ano po to, factor po talaga siya, no? Uh, uh, malaking factor po talaga siya sa, sa, ano natin, sabi nga dito, uh, for us to make a difference, not only to make a difference, but for us to, ano, to, to be a blessing, ano? So, sabi nga dito, you will be mightier when you are wise. Mightier than strong. Oh, wow. You all on being mightier than strong. <laughs> <laughs> so, super, but definitely your foundations, uh, my dear, maybe your foundation, your influence, and yeah, kasi naniniwala kong being strong is not only uh, gaining riches, but also gaining influence. No? The more you influence a lot of people, meaning by influence, by being a blessing to them, by, you know, by, 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 by making your life as ano, a valuable no uh, valuable to to other people that and other will be blessed ano i believe that you will have a very strong very you will you will be strong and you will be mightier no because marami kang na bless marami kang natutulungan and all the things i believe of those with knowledge grow stronger and stronger so we can see sabi ni baka burst to ni ano yun ni ano yun sabi knowledge is power <laughs> kung walang knowledge walang power okay uh, so ano na, na, nasa kabilang buhay na siya pero uh, pero uh, ano in some ways um, um, biblical po talaga siya ano so which should be in the more kasi we are uh, like I said that increasing knowledge kasi sabi ko nga sa inyo uh, with the new things today alam mo dati na the way ng business the way ng trabaho biglang nabago yan because of COVID now there's a new traditional conventional way of working is is changing so if we are not also flexible in al allowing ourselves to learn new things learn technology learn a lot of things we will be left behind you know? even the church you know? kaya nga ngayon usong uso na no? sa mga churches live streaming a lot of multi uh, multi you know, things you know? and if we I think if the church even the world today you no. Know, pag hindi ito ginamit ano yung mga technology ngayon we will be left behind so all these things I think is happening for a reason so may be be ano be a learning ano, be a learning uh, person no? sabi rito increasing knowledge don't be afraid to learn new things huwag so, sabihin matanda na ako hindi ako matututo hindi ito yan ang dami ko po ngayon kasama rito sa prayer team lahat po yan mga karamihan po rito may Uh, may meron po tayong mga may edad no but may you know, they pre, uh, persist to learn ano uh, talaga no and part no kita niyo no mga high tech no yan sila Mommy Melda sila <laughs> Nanay Josephine si Nanay ano no uh, the Celia and a lot of things why because they made a choice Sister Connie and then Sister Brother George you know and Kuya Edwin ano because they made a choice it's a choice no when you sabi na no I cannot do this hindi yung pwede 
sabi nga natin, ang sabi nga natin, ano, ano lang, uh, kalabaw lang ang tumatanda. Ibig sabihin, it's only an age, but learning is, ano, an, an, ano unstoppable. Hmm. As long as we would like it, we can learn new things, and we can also enjoy life when we learn things, new things. That's why God wants us, but the wise are also victorious. Why? Because pag learner kasi ang isang tao, they always seek advice. You always like to say, okay, 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 walang, ano, walang alam ko na lahat, no? Kahit po ako, lagi ako nag-scissors, lagi ako nag-improve. Kung bakit na-improve na nag-improve yung ating itsura ng ginagawa ko ngayon, it is because I choose and I decide to learn. And that is part of growing and that is part of getting victory. So you want to be wise in whatever field you have with your family, in your business, in whatever you're doing right now. You want to be victorious then seek advice. Learn. Okay? Ako, by the way, ako, I learn not only in technology, not only in the spirit, but in every way na babasa ako. Kahit hindi ko alam yun, I want to learn, I want to do this. That's why I'm, I, I see things differently. Because I believe the more you see, open your eyes to other streams of knowledge. Pag sinabi ko ano, other streams of knowledge, science, education, physical, uh, supernatural, so in all those thoughts, you will grow. And then when you, and like I said, ye, the victory is higher. Bisabihin, yung mga victory in our decisions, victory in everything we do is higher when we do that. So again, I hope that, and I hope that all these things will, ano, in reach us today so right now we're going to pray amen so we're going to pray amen so we've learned a lot i would like every one of you maybe this is a message of god like i said some of you you want to be delivered by uh, alcohol addictions god is speaking to you right now pray to god set yourself free no just alam ko tong time na to mas mahirap marami sa atin lalo umiinom okay please mag niyo pong sirain yung buhay niyo Ano, um, I believe God is God has other way for you to cope up in whatever struggles and depressions that you have. Don't cling into alcohol, kasi lalo ni tong sisira inyong buhay mo. Okay, so give give uh, ask to God to give us wisdom in choosing and making friends. No, magingat po tayo. Can and maybe have a, maybe have a house built in the wisdom of God, and we should live wisely. So right now. I'm going to pray. I'll give you two minutes right now to pray. And uh, let's uh, start and pray right now. Every one of us, alam nyo, nobody best pray for you. Ikaw rin. At naniniwala ako, uh, ang, ang prayer mo para sa sarili mo ay best para sa iyo. So, nakikag-usap po tayo sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. Let's talk to Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, God.
Yes, Lord, oh God. Lord, right now, God, we thank you, Lord, for the truth of your word. I pray, God, that every one of us right now, Lord, oh God, will ask you, Lord, oh God, to let the wisdom of God to be upon us. Lord, especially, Lord, oh God, to every one of us who are going to make a decision, Lord. Today, I pray that everyone will make a decision not to be hope, God, especially, Lord, oh God, in alcoholism. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, God, those who have been, Lord, oh God, have addiction right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Lord, remove, God, the desires, God, of alcohol, uh, alcohol, oh God, in, in everyone's right right now. I pray, God, for your healing. I pray, God, for deliverance, God, to everyone right now who has been hooked by alcoholism. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we declare freedoms. Be set free. Be free in Jesus' name. Be free in the name of Jesus. Oh, by the blood of the Lamb, be free and set free. Lord, I pray, God, right now, the Lord, a new beginning, God, to everyone, Lord, who is Lord of God, pursuing Lord of God. In this matter, God, in Jesus' name, we declare, God, right now, complete freedom and new beginning. Lord, we also pray, God, for everyone, Lord, who may be having a uh, hook of God or being with the company of bad friends or influence with bad friends, Lord, it causes their hearts or causes them, Lord, into more troubles, Lord. I pray, God, that in the name of Jesus, Lord, may you give them a decision right now to stand up, to run away, to not to even, Lord, oh God, talk to these people, make a new and fresh start because you can, they can make a decision, Lord. I pray, give them, Lord, right now, Lord, courage to desire, Lord. The Lord, oh God, to get away and get out, God, from this group of friends. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray, God, for every house, this Lord, right now, that let the wisdom of Christ will be upon, Lord, everyone, especially, Lord, in this season of pandemic, Lord, that this wisdom, oh God, will lead us, Lord, oh God, Lord, oh God, to, to Lord, oh God, to be blessed, Lord, and accumulate, Lord, oh God, Lord, oh God, enough, Lord, oh God, uh, Lord, oh God, the resources, Lord. So, God, we commit, Lord, I commit every family to you to be strong, God, with the wisdom of God, to be strong, Lord, oh God, Lord, oh God, in this season, that there will be a riches of blessing in their lives, Lord, as they walk into your wisdom. And to every one of us, Lord, oh God, help us to always leave. Make a really uh, intentional choice, Lord. Intentional choice to be wise, Lord, in our decisions, God. To Lord, Lord, oh God, to be a learner, God. To acquire and learn new things, Lord. That, Lord, we will use this time of pandemic, Lord, to learn new things, Lord. To Lord, oh God, to 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 Lord, oh God, to to really, Father God, enhance, Lord, oh God, our lives, oh God. So, Lord, I pray, Lord. Help us, Lord, O oh God, that in this season we will make this choice. God, thank you, Lord, O oh God, for everyone who's here right now. I don't know what their journey right now, but I pray, God, that your grace will be upon them. Your name, O oh God, will be, Lord, O oh God, will be seen in their lives. So, God, I pray, uh, make everyone, O oh God, every one of us, leave in the wisdom of God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. So right now, I'd like to talk to some of you today. I believe that there is no accident. That's why you're here. God is a purpose. And if you've never given your life to Jesus, this is the best time to give your life to God. So right now, I'm going to pray. And it's a prayer of surrendering your life to Jesus. So right now, if you've never given your life to Jesus, this is the best time. I would like you to follow this prayer. This is a prayer of surrender and giving your life to Jesus. So, so follow this prayer and make this prayer as your own. Not only as your own, but also pray with faith. Amen. Surrender your life to Jesus. I believe Jesus is the only one that you need today. So try Him and accept Him right now. So right now, let's pray. I would like to power this prayer. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you, God, for your word today. Yes, I need your wisdom. I admit, God, that you're the one that I need. So Lord, I come before you and acknowledge, God, that I am a sinner. Correct me. Change me, Lord. Forgive me, God, of all my sins. I pray, God, right now that you will, Lord, O oh God, direct me to 
to, to your will, to the right path, I surrender my life to you. I open my life. I open my heart. Come into my heart. Be my Savior. Be my Lord. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Because of your death, I can have forgiveness. I can have freedom. I am delivered because of the cross. So Lord, right now, help me to obey you, to follow you, and do your will. This I pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. If you accepted the Lord today, first time, or some of you rededicate your life to God one more time, congratulations. Your decision is wise. And I would like you to always you know, make that decision. Come every day. So that's also a decision. Come every day. Pray together with us. Hear the word of God. Grow in His word. And something, ito intentional. You need to do that. And you must be in your, your intention to read the word of God. Um, Pray, not only, like I said, make time tied the portion of prayer, don't. I would like you to pray, no? When I say pray, let's do have two minutes pray, no? I say, you know, you're, you're the one who will you know, talk to God. And the more you talk to God, the more you will grow, amen? So, not only that, we have online service. You can come and also be part of our Connecting Lives, no? Ito ay, uh, ano po ito? At ang Connecting Lives natin, ano ito? Uh, mga... Mga, mga small groups that uh, that is uh, pr uh, that is uh, praying you know so also i have a uh, basic steps to your new faith journey yeah? so that is a five level course for you to grow as well no so that's the initial step for you to grow amen